All righty. I have Tony on the line. Tony, welcome. Hi there, Martin. Um, now, you sent me an email saying you had a strange UFO uh, sighting. And yeah. it's it's one that uh, it, it's so bizarre because a few days ago, someone wrote me um, that's in the military that said they had a cylinder, vertical cylinder sighting, just like what you're talking about. But let's go into the details. Uh, what uh, when did how long ago did this happen and where and all that all that? This was in March of uh, 2018 is when it happened. Mm -hmm. And and I mean, months passed before I ever reported that to MUFON or anything. I never even researched it. it just it bothered me that I didn't know what I saw that day. I, I looked at it myself and a coworker through binoculars and couldn't understand what we were looking at. Now, I should I should point out to the person watching on on youtube or facebook or wherever it is that this is a picture of something you found that looked very similar but did you not have a chance to take a picture of it when you saw it or was it so small you could only see it in the binoculars yeah absolutely it was so it was it was probably my guess is somewhere around twenty thousand feet at altitude it was it was up there a little ways my phone i did take some pictures with my phone but the image it, at that point it just looks like a star it, oh, it gave off oh. so much light so much glint uh that it, it, it that's basically all it showed up as on my phone. What time of day or was it in the evening? Nope. Two 30 in the afternoon, broad daylight, uh, aircraft landing at Metro airport directly underneath it. But the facility, I'm a plant manager at a facility about four miles from uh, Metro airport in Detroit. And the airport's actually in Romulus. And uh, it was directly over top of landing aircraft. Um, I watched it come from the north, slowly make a uh, heading kind of southwest. And I, I, we watched this thing for probably 30 minutes. Huh. And I, I stared out at it out, out my office window originally, and I, I just couldn't understand what I was looking at. So I grabbed my binoculars and I keep next to my desk and walked out, took a look at it. Coworker came over. He was looking at it with me. And I remember putting the binoculars multiple times to my eyes and, I just kept putting them down going, what if I didn't understand what I was seeing? It, it made no sense to me because the wind was blowing directly to the east. The aircraft were landing into the wind, heading west. And when they do that, they pass directly over our facility. And I couldn't, we, we both couldn't understand what we were seeing. And, and it looked fairly large. It looked like it may have been, my guess is 100 foot in length at least. Oh, so that's probably not a typical balloon. Uh, one last thing. Do you think the airplanes that were landing actually saw this thing? Oh, ab absolutely. Yep. And ab it was much higher in altitude, but I bet they saw it. And what I didn't add in was there was, uh, once I took down the binoculars, when it was almost directly over our facility, at probably 20,000 feet in altitude, there was an F-16 that flew right next to it from huh. the north to the south. And I watched that thing go out to the south, F-16, until I couldn't see it anymore. And it passed right next to it. So something was interested in what that was. Yeah, interesting. Well, thank you so much, Tony. No problem. I appreciate that. No problem.